So I decided I am not done with science today. I'm gonna to show you one more demonstration that you can do at home or you can ask a question to make it an experiment. So this one is called the magic ketchup experiment. And like our other experiments, it's from Science Bob. He is awesome. He has some great videos, so check them out. I'm not gonna tell you what this experiment does. I'm gonna leave it a surprise since it is magic. <laughs> so this experiment only needs a few things. You need a liter water bottle, which I did not have. This is the closest I had. Um, salt and a ketchup packet. Along with the salt, if you have kosher salt, that's gonna work better. I just have regular table salt, so we're gonna use this instead. Okay, so our first step is to add a ketchup packet to the bottle. Step one, complete. The next step was to add water all the way to the top of the bottle. Now it said, if your ketchup packet floats, then you're all set to go into the next step. If it sinks, means it goes all the way to the bottom, then you're gonna have to add three tablespoons of salt and shake it, shake it, shake it, with the cap on, of course, till the salt dissolves. And keep adding one tablespoon of salt until the ketchup packet starts to float. So I've got my cap on, the water's to the top, my ketchup packet is floating, so let's see where the magic comes in. So we're going to squeeze this really, really hard. And you'll see it has sunk to the bottom. Now let's let go. How in the world is it doing that? Let's see if I flip it upside down, what happens? Oh, it's still floating. Squeeze it. You could go up to your parents or your family and be like, watch, I can make this ketchup packet move on its own. they will think that you are just amazing. So now we need to see why this phenomenon is happening. This experiment involves two things, buoyancy and density. So buoyancy describes how things float in a liquid and density is how much mass an object has. What you need to know is there is a little bubble inside of this ketchup packet. It's not all ketchup. There's a little bit of air in there. And what do bubbles do? they float. So that's why the ketchup packet is floating to the top. But what about when we squeeze it? Why is it sinking if it's got that little bubble inside? So when you squeeze it, you're putting pressure on that ketchup packet and therefore putting pressure on that bubble and causing the ketchup packet to become more dense. Hence why it goes to the bottom. When you let go, you're relieving the pressure on the bubble and the bubble expands. That's why it floats back to the top. So, like I've said many times before, this is a demonstration. It's your job to make an experiment by asking a question. You can come up with one on your own or I have a few for you. For example, do other packets of condiments work like mustard or soy sauce? Do they have the same density? That's a great question to try to use. Next question I have for you is remember me saying it didn't really specify a temperature. So does this work with cold water or hot water? Or, like I said here earlier, I didn't have a liter bottle, so this worked with a smaller bottle. I wonder what size bottle works best for this experiment. Try it out and get to experimenting. I'll see you later.